Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you guys are here. It is Tasty Tuesday. Today we are going to be making some s'more brownies. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and we're gonna make this together. All right, so we need one box of brownie mix and I have the milk chocolate uh, brownie mix. We're gonna be using some graham crackers. I'm using chocolate chips that I'm gonna sprinkle on top that calls for um, milk chocolate candy bars coarsely chopped. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some chocolate chips and then some marshmallows. And then so we're going to mix the brownie mix according to the package. I do not have enough of the oil, so I've melted butter that I'll be using in this. In the background, you will be hearing the TV. The husband is home and he's watching, I believe, Indiana Jones. And Lacey's in the background making all sorts of noise as well. So we're going to mix the brownie mix. with a quarter cup of water and two thirds cup oil and two eggs. So I have my quarter cup of water, two thirds cup of butter that I've melted and then the eggs. We will mix that up. Wash my hands real quick. A little bit of egg stuff on there. And then we're just going to mix this and then we'll put it in the pan and bake that. And then we will do the fun stuff with the chip, chocolate chips and graham crackers and marshmallows. <clears throat> I'm hoping the brownies will taste just oh so fine with doing the butter. Um, I've never had to substitute before, so I had to do a Google search to see, and they said you could use applesauce, and of course I don't have any applesauce in the house. So then I did another little Google search and saw we can use butter, so let's see how well this fits. Alright, so we have that all mixed up. I have my eight by eight pan coated. If you grab my spatula, we'll get all the yummy goodness out of the batter bowl here. And we will just pour that in. My kids never liked when I made treats because of using my spatulas and getting every last goodness out of here. They weren't able to lick the bowls because mom gets every last drop out and I still do that. All right, so I'm gonna put this in the oven okay so eight by eight so this is an eight by eight dish 40 about 45 minutes 45 to 50 minutes and it's supposed to be a 350 degree oven i've been cutting the temperature back by 25 degrees on mine because my oven is running hot right now so i'm going to put it in for about 45 minutes on a 325 degree oven and then we will come back and let me just take a quick peek. Once it's done, oh, we're gonna let it cool completely. Then we are gonna add the toppings on and stick it in the broiler. All right, well, I'm gonna put this in the oven. I'll be back once it's completely cool and then we'll put the fun goodies on. All right, so they're cool. Now it says for three candy bars on there, so I'm just gonna sprinkle some chocolate chips on top and then I'm gonna crush some graham crackers, put on top and then sprinkle with marshmallows. Um, 
Now they have theirs put in a nine by 13, so it was three, and I'll leave down below a link to the recipe for it, but it calls for three and a half cups of marshmallows, uh, one and three quarter cup coarsely broken graham crackers, and then three 1.55 ounce milk chocolate candy bars coarsely chopped. So I'm just sprinkling chocolate chips on, crushing up some graham crackers, throwing it on, and sprinkling with marshmallows because mine's an 8x8. Eight eight. So I'll start with a handful. And I don't know if the butter made it to where it made a nice little dome on this, so we'll see how well. Let's see if I can get my chocolate chips to stay like on top because it's got a nice dome on it. dropped a chocolate chip on the floor. So, leave those there. Graham crackers. I'm just going to start one at a time and just break them. Just kind of crush them on top. Like so. I'm going to have it all around the edges. There's not going to be very much in the middle. <clears throat> Second graham cracker. I just kind of, yeah, they're all just going to fall. That's good enough. And now sprinkle marshmallows on top. I have the oven, the oven, have the oven heated back up for the broiler. I wonder, I'll just smash this down a little bit. Get some marshmallows to stay. I love marshmallows, so I don't care if there's a lot on here. Maybe I'll sprinkle some more chocolate on top. Mm, can't go wrong, right? Right. Ooh, that'll work. Do some more graham crackers. oven on the broiler and da -da 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 -da. one to two minutes until the marshmallows are lightly toasty brown so I'll be back in just a couple minutes and there they are just out of the oven the marshmallows are nice and toasty brown we'll let them cool for just a few and then I will cut up one for me and the hubs to enjoy, but I'll be right back. Okay, so there is one already to give to the hubs for a taste test. Mine didn't come out looking so pretty after I cut it out or scooped it out of the pan. The brownies look in kind of a feel of almost cake-like, but I'll give it a try. Get a little bit of marshmallow in there. Really, really good. A little bit of a cake taste to the, the brownies, but it is yummy. I'm going to go give this to him. So I will have a link down below in the description box for uh, the recipe. 
And until I see you guys next time, remember to live a little, laugh a lot, and love always. Bye, guys. Thank you.